Hi! My name is Babel Born and today I want to show you a technique made with the Vertigo film with brilliant stem pads and with goosebumps. All the products are manufactured by Tsukineko. The Vertigo film is a product that adds a dimension to your stamping projects. As you can see it shimmers but it's very flat but it looks three-dimensional. For a complete list of supplies, please um, check the information I will give in the info box of the video. I use brilliant stamp pads for my marbling technique, plus I use the goosebumps. You can use the goosebumps for a lot of techniques, but today I want to show you the marbling technique. I want to make a shimmering lampshade for this IKEA lamp. To find the correct size and shape um, for the lampshade, I use the lamp as a kind of stamp and I color it with uh, brilliance, with a bit, bit, bit of brilliance, it doesn't have to be exact, and stamp with it to the vertigo film. You don't have to wait until it's dry on the film, but please clean your lamp right afterwards because uh, to prevent any smudging on the lamp. Carefully cut your vertigo film close to the stamped line. And I recommend to clean the vertigo film right afterwards. Cover your workspace with a sheet of scrap paper. The vertical film has two sides, one shiny and one matte side. Uh, it's up to you which side you want to cover. Start with covering the vertical film with your desired brilliance colors. Um, I started with the blue color, but it's up to you. You can um, start with any color you like because I do not blend the colors so they won't smudge on the pad. You don't have to let dry the colors because you will smear and move them later. Now cover the whole um, work, the whole uh, vertigo film, the colored vertigo film, with your goosebumps, with an even layer. With um, a distance of like 15-20 centimeter. And use any tool you like. Um, I use a wooden stick to move your brilliance colors. Now this is what I call the marbling because it will give a kind of marbling effect when you smear and move the colors um, together. Smear until you are pleased with the result and that's it. Yeah, done. Now you have to wait until it's completely dry. <laughs> After the, the, the marbled vertical is completely dry, um, you can use... Oh yeah, ah, 
it's shiny from from the uncovered side and looks it still looks three-dimensional okay so you can use your favorite glue to glue the vertigo film to the lamp Um, the lamp um, of any glue residues with a scrap fabric. After the glue has dried, my lampshade is ready for use. I used an um, LED um, lamp from IKEA because this won't heat up and won't damage the vertigo foil and stay cool. <laughs> yeah, I hope you like it and try this on your own. Yeah, hope you like it. Love ya! Uh, wait, 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 <laughs> I forgot. You can add additional bling to your lampshade with a few um, spellbinder die cuts. For this lamp I used um, some um, round shapes and a flower shape and cut it with uh, a blue cardboard and glued the cardboard to the lampshade. I am very sorry <laughs> I didn't see that the the camera is uh, out of angle so maybe maybe if you push your screen push your screen down yeah can you see better what I'm doing there <laughs> joking you can't move your screen so I put some glue on the um, on the cutout on the cardboard and glued it to the lampshade on top of the lampshade for the pictures I have made uh, of the lamp I added an additional layer of um, the same flower cut from uh, from foam that looks really really awesome and is a perfect lamp um, decoration for for example for the room of your kids yeah I hope you enjoyed see you next time